and some more questions from from the peoples. All right. But I'm going to start with this one, which is something that somebody sent me earlier today. And they said, what is your favorite stack? And I'm going to start with Jesse on this one. Cold stacker. <laughs> uh, yeah, I keep it kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it's old school now, but you know, the Mern, you know, that that one's you know, that's kind of my go to when I just want to get something spun up quick and just get something going. That's what I use. Uh, so Mongo, Express, React, Node.js. That's that's just that's my favorite. Cool. How about you, Dory? What's your favorite stack? I'm working in uh, the J Hipster stack, which is uh, Java, uh, Angular front end, SQL, and uh, Spring Hibernate. And that's what I use for work. So that's my current favorite one. Personal stack, if I'm trying to spin something up quick, probably a Mern or a Mean stack, just because the ease of using all one language and having a Mongo and all that's pretty nice just to get something up and going. I saw somebody was asking a uh, SQL or no SQL. And, Really, uh, it's what you, what you want to do and what you're trying to get the job done with. If you're looking to scale, you probably want to go SQL in the long run. If you're looking to spin something up quick, no SQL like MongoDB is just How fine. about you, Dennis? We kind of know the answer for this one. <laughs> well, the best the best stack, if you really want to get a job, is Python, Django, and React with Postgres. So. <laughs> <laughs> The Python guy is like, you he's like, you know what I'm gonna say to you, right? Like, yeah. he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with Python, man. Nah, that's what's up, man. Uh, I like Python too, man. Um, let's see, how about you, Danny? What you using right now, man? I will use and learn whatever brings a paycheck. You, you, you got a paycheck in this Java? Done. That's exactly what I'm learning. You got a paycheck with Python? Done. You got P you got a paycheck with PHP? I'm learning PHP and Laravel, baby. Whatever will bring a paycheck? That's exactly what I learned. Uh, my path in tech, I literally started learning Python and Python is great. I still love Python. A matter of fact, in my latest video, I did a ton of research for the top seven languages of 2021 where I looked at job market and income and Python was number one. I have, I have a lot of love for Python. In my particular area, there were zero Python jobs. So I spent four months learning Python and realized, oh, I'm not going to get a job in this. I pivoted to Java because the 10 companies that I wanted uh, to work for, that is their exact stack, Java Angular. So I learned Java Angular and I, I learned SQL with that. Well, my job is giving me a paycheck and we re rewriting our entire code base into React and Go. So guess what? I'm learning React and Go. I will learn anything. I love every language, every framework, everything. I love it all equally as long as it's bringing a paycheck. So if you're paying me, I'll learn whatever you want me to learn. Go ahead, Coder Coder. What you using right now? What's your favorite stack? Those are two because I I like the answer, Danny. But at the end of the day, is what's your favorite stack right now? <laughs> because we all will go and learn whatever the check comes with. You get what I'm saying? Like if they gotta pay me with PHP, Ruby, whatever it is, yeah. I want to know what's your favorite right now. That's so what the people want to know. The, the quick answer to that is React and Go. I really do love it a lot. I think the world of microservices is probably the future of development. And I see that being the case. I think Golang is going to pick up in a massive way because of its command of um, microservices. And of course, Java has great microservice control as well. But um, I think that's going to be the future. How about you, Coder Coder? Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I am kind of like Danny. I learned what I need to for the job. So my current company... My last company, we did C Sharp.net and SQL stuff, um, Microsoft. We were like a Microsoft house or whatever. So that's what I learned. I really like it, but you know, I don't know if I have a favorite. These days, I actually work more on the CSS SaaS um, side of things. So I'm not really part of the whole React versus Vue versus Angular versus you know other frameworks battle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But I mean, there got to be a stack that you when if you come in and you say, OK, I'm going to go in and I'm going to spin up a, a little project, a little page just for CSS and SAS. There has to be something in there. You might just say Netlify, let's do Jamstack and, and that's it. Keep it, you know, simple. Right. What do you if you have to spin up something or, or you just like you keep it old school, you say index.html and then I'm just compiling SAS. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I like I love SAS. I like using Gulp. Um, that's kind of my two things that I like. 
Nice, um, nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a gope head too. Like some people, they look at me like, "Yo, you still using gope? You're not using webpack for all of these things?" I'm like, "Bro, like, I have like a million tasks for gope. Like, I'm happy with gope, right?" I know some people they they be trying to kill me, like, "Yo, you should be using webpack for your CSS, and you could compile your, your SAS with webpack." I'm like, "Bro, I'm not. I don't like going in there and, and having to do all that stuff. Um, I know how to do it, but it's like gope is just easy, like." Is is really just made for this, um, but yeah. So let's jump into uh, Eric. Yeah, you know, at my work, we were a big Node AWS backend on uh, serverless lambdas everywhere, um, and we use Postgres, DynamoDB. It's kind of like my stack of work, and we have Angular and Vue uh, on the front end. And so personally, you know, when I when I'm running projects, I'm I'm a big fan of Nuxt on my front end, which is a Vue.js type of uh, app framework, and then uh, using JavaScript in the back end, using Node, using Node.js, and then using uh, TypeScript everywhere as, as much as I can, using TypeORM, and and connecting to like a Postgres DB is, is kind of what I I like. And then I do like I used to do Elixir back in the day. And with Phoenix, and it, uh, that is, it's a, just a different par paradigm shift, and it's it's a great stack too if you, for the back end and Rails. Those are my favorites. Nice. Oh, I didn't know you was a, a Rails head, Eric. So that's why. Wait, that's why you like Amber, because if you're from the Rails world, you know about Amber. I mean, that's why I used to use back um a few years ago. Like that was like my my best thing that I always went for. So. I was wondering, I'm like, wait, when I saw you create like some tutorials on Ember, I'm like, does Eric know about Rails? Like, is he a <laughs> Rails head behind the scenes? Like, <laughs> I, I used to love Rails. I never did it professionally. It was just like a fun hobby I did for a while. And then, yeah, Ember kind of fit in really well back in the day to that. Nice, nice. How about you, Anya? What's your stack? What is it you working on right now? Like when you got to spin up a, an application or you just keeping it old school index.html, that's my stack. <laughs> Well, I guess, uh, like Jesse, it is man. However, I did do a project with Datastax recently uh, on pa Apache Cassandra. I mean, wearing a T-shirt, Apache Cassandra T-shirt. I love it. Uh, and I got introduced to Netlify functions. So I think I mentioned them earlier. And I just thought, wow, like, this is crazy. If you're doing, like, a small little project, it's, like, perfect. It's serverless. So if you guys haven't tried that before, definitely do. Otherwise, it is man. Um, but at work... I mean, typical buzzwords at the moment, GraphQL, TypeScript, uh, and so on. So that's me in, in a nutshell. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Definitely, man. Um, yeah, for me, you know, somebody came in and, and put in, this is a comment that somebody put in there. Well, let me see if I find it. Uh, let me see. That was funny. Uh, let me see if I put it in because that was just hilarious to me. Uh, I think Tony Valentine said um, something like, uh, yeah, Joe caught Joe caught on the the Mer stack video, <laughs> caught on that Mer stack video. So I made a video uh about the Mer stack, which I just said, and this is like the truth for like anybody anywhere that you go. Like this is not like I'm choosing Mer stack. It's like this is not like Pokemon. Like you can't just be like Pokemon. Like you know Mer stack. Here you go. Like nah, I choose you. Now nah, like literally like the Mer stack. What I said in that video was something like this. If you live in an area and there's jobs for you for the Mern stack, study the Mern stack. If you live in an area where there's jobs for Python, study Python. If you live in an area where there's more jobs for you in PHP, go for PHP, right? Or whatever it is that you want to use. Now, uh, I, I see a lot of people that always say, hey, use the Mern stack, use the Mern stack. But again, I always tell the viewers, guys, do your own research. Like, you know, we're not God. We don't know where you live. We don't know your area. We don't know your market. It's like right now, you know, that's why I was asking Anya and um, Cold Stories about, you know, how's the scene in Europe? When people come in and ask me questions about, hey, how can I get a job here in, in Europe? I can give you like an overall advice, right? Which, you know, I could go and give you that advice that could go on a blanket or buff everybody, but that doesn't mean it's going to keep everybody warm, right? Like you got to go and do your own research and find out on your own what's the best stack or what what 
job seeing opportunities is going to be out there where you live. So that's what I meant, you know, with that video. So don't kill me. I don't hate the Mern stack. If you go to my website, codingphase.com, just by the way, if you guys don't know, hit in the, in the description somewhere. Um, <laughs> you know, I always say, hey, man, go check out every single uh, stack that's out there. Just make sure that you're trying to get a job, man. It's, you know, you don't want to be the guy out here with a hobby. You know, I, I know people that come in and, and they learn.